Hey, I'm not dead yet. I've just been very, very tired. <laughs> just so tired. I'm sleeping at the worst times imaginable for functioning in human society. Uh, and I feel very odd about putting videos up at like 3 or 4 a.m. local time, which would be EST, so I just have missed a bunch of uploads with my weird, weird sleep schedule. Oh, maybe I should. Maybe I should, if I can't put them up at a reasonable hour in the afternoon or the evening, just go full-on Night Owl and just throw like a Hollow Knight or an FF9 up like 3 a.m. It's not like I can't. Maybe I'll experiment with that next time my sleep schedule decides to waffle. I'm not going to talk too much about that. I already put a video up about my non-24 hour sleep wake disorder, which you can uh, you can go watch that in the description. I will post that again. Suffice to say, I have just been very busy and very tired. <laughs> and this is and sleeping really weird. Um, and I know this is a hobby and missing like an upload here and there should not be the end of the world, but I still do feel guilty when I when I miss so many in the span of like two weeks. It's been a bunch. Wow, it's been a lot. Uh, more in the past two weeks probably than like most years that I've been at this. So like that, it should not be a biggie. Uh, that'll be sorted out Sunday afternoon with a nice new FF9 and hopefully we will be back to our very, very regular <laughs> Yeah, we should be back to our sleep schedule. Uh, I should. We should be back to a regular upload schedule. <laughs> uh, and of course, we have Halloween coming up. Speaking of, let's just do all the game reveals. I'm in that kind of mood. And this time, even though I've been uh, cagey, been playing coy with what the last game for each night will be on Twitter and on Discord. Let's just throw all of them out there. Let's just do it. Because I'm excited about this Halloween. As I am pretty much every year. It's my favorite holiday. It's my favorite event I do. Eh. No, I'm going to save that for Gami, actually. Either way, whatever. So, reminder that Halloween starts on October 24th at 8 p.m. local, 8 p.m. EST. It will run until midnight each night. We're playing four games a night, an hour of each game. So night one on October 24th is going to be Rise of Insanity, starting us off, kicking off Halloween 4, followed by The Miskatonic, Home Sweet Home, and Detention. All really strong candidates, I think. Uh, to, to deliver some good scares. The Miskatonic especially is looking really interesting. Detention. Oh, uh, all of these I, I am excited by. Hopefully we have a really strong start to Halloween with that lineup. Night 2 is going to be The Inner Friend. And then two very Lynchian games in Desert of Vice and Paratopic. And then we will cap things off with Vampyr. I've really been holding off on playing Vampyr just for Halloween. Uh, I know it's not strictly a horror game, but it's about vampires. Come on. There's not enough vampire games. And maybe I'm just saying that because I've been watching so much Buffy. Night 3 is going to start at 8 p.m. with Clock Tower. Move on to Remothered at 9 p.m. Then at 10, it is Deceit, a multiplayer horror game. And finally, Diablo, either 2 or 3. Uh, I was planning on doing two, and I very well still might, but there's also a chance that could just actually be Diablo 3. Night 4 is going to go ahead and be uh, Zero Abyssal Somewhere. It's a freeware indie game from uh, Itch.io, or Itch.io. I don't really know how you say the name of that site, but I've been hearing really incredible things about it. Uh, then after that, it's going to be The Missing by Swery, a really promising horror game called Distraint, and we will end things off with the uh, PT-inspired Visage, which just came out on Early Access recently. 
for night five, we're going to start off with Forgotten Memories, the definitive edition on Steam. Forgotten Memories was a Silent Hill inspired uh, horror game that came out on mobile actually uh, quite a while ago and relatively recently got its Steam release. I think between uh, this and the last Halloween. So I, and I know that it was quite good. Like I've heard rave uh, things about it from people who are in the know about horror games. So I'm really, really excited. They even got uh, some of the original Silent Hill folks. Uh, I think both Team Silent and some of the voice actors. Like I believe um, Guy Sehe, James Sunderland's voice actor, uh, plays a role in Forgotten Memories. And then from there, uh, we move on to the Midnight Station, which could very well, along with the Miskatonic, be kind of our uh, our Fran Bow or our Sally Face of this of this uh, of this year, or our Stray Cat Crossing, that kind that kind of horror game. Then something that's not strictly horror, Sinner Sacrifice for Redemption, which if you like it, uh, games like Salt and Sanctuary or Death's Gambit. I think this might be really good, and <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually getting to play this. Uh, Silent Hill, the arcade. I do not expect this to be a good game, but we have played every other Silent Hill game at this point, either for a Let's Play or on some kind of stream. The only, uh, the only one that we have not played at some point for Halloween or for a Let's Play, aside from the arcade, is Shattered Memories. Boy, I hate Shattered Memories a whole lot. Night 6 kicks off with Area 51, which is one of my favorite shooters ever. No exaggeration. Uh, I love it more for the multiplayer. I haven't played the single player in a long, long time, but I remember it being quite good. Also features the voice acting of David Duchovny. Uh, and then we have Butcher, which is more of a horror and gore-themed platformer. Uh, we have The Works of Mercy, which again, horror-themed, but not strictly horror. It's more of a, a suspense uh, kind of thriller. And uh, Transference, which I think might be quite good. I really don't think there are too many chances for uh, bad games to creep in, aside from Silent Hill the Arcade. I hope we don't have any uh, any stinkers like... Uh, we didn't have many during Halloween 3. We had a couple that were just dreadful during 2, though. I don't think there's going to be uh, very many weak games uh, this Halloween. And finally, Night 7 kicks off with Stifled, which, if you remember Perception from last year, has, has a very similar... Uh, theme, wherein I believe the main character is blind or visually impaired in some way. Uh, then we have Green Hell, we have Achtung Cthulhu, which is a strategy game that I'm very excited to see how that works in a, uh, a horror context. And finally, Call of Cthulhu, which will be releasing on the 29th or the 30th. And that's going to cap us off for Halloween 4. So again, that's all going to take place uh, on the week of October 24th through the 30th, going into midnight on Halloween. Thank you all for watching. Look forward to that. that that'll be live uh, on twitch.tv slash scribed every night that week uh, from 8 p.m. EST until midnight. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one.